Hello folks, welcome to Abandoned Ship, and this is kind of like FTL meets Sunless Sea. It is the combat of FTL and general roguelikeiness, and the sailing around of Sunless Sea, and it adds in a bunch of pirates, because it's 2018, and everything has pirates in 2018. Anyway, this is the story at the start. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity! The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. So strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Flee! Uh, right, so we're going to escape to the, um, the, the cells, because why not? Where we're going to meet people who we can unlock and add to our crew. So there's a bunch of them. You can choose three or five. Um, I'm going to choose, um, well, for bonus reasons, the navigator, so we can um, um, n maneuver better. Uh, the gunner, so we can actually uh, reload faster. And the marine, because we'll need to tonk people. Uh, and that's all we'll get. I'm also, um, I play the severed one, the captain who's got good skills in all areas, whereas everyone else has just got a w um, skill in one area at the moment. So, you, you and your new companions surge through the labyrinthine passengers. Passengers. Finally, a door. Light seeps in through cracks in the frame. We burst through the door. You close your eyes for the moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the, wi the winding path ahead, you see what you hope for. A ship at anchor. Here we go, lads. Right, yo, get on board. Um, bye. This is a bit of a strange a strange one because it's um, normally we're, everything takes some um, a place on board ship. But first of all, we just have to actually board our ship. And this is a bit of scene setting, really. We also need to... Cut the rope. Do that. Do that. So I'm selecting with left click and confirming with right click. And uh, now we need to get our navigator, ideally. And uh, we don't really matter too much. At the wheel of the ship. And uh, we can move people around and whatever. Oh, I did actually cut that. I'll try that again. I'm actually end up manning the weapons. Yeah. There we go. It can be a little fiddly, a um, bit like FDL, and quite a lot of other games like this. It can be quite fiddly getting your mates to the right place exactly. Off we go into the distance. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away, a high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer! A father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, and no but doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. Let's get out of here! Right. So we basically need to find the gate, um, which is, if you look at the bottom right, there's a gate at the bottom, which we can get through. All the others are locked. There's a certain amount of House of Many Doors about this, um, which I guess was inspired heavily by Sunless Sea. So it all fits together. I'm going to grab that, because that's some that's gold. That's 20 golds to add to our pot, which in the top left you can see is 115 at the moment. Uh, there's also a, a supplies, which is indicated by the fish, and morale, which is indicated by the smiley face. Uh, I don't think there's a huge amount we can do here, so let's escape through the southern gate. Uh, this is a roguelite, so things are random, but there's a heavy emphasis on storytelling. This is the story mode, but there's also a dedicated combat mode, if you just want to do the combat, which we are about to see now. Uh, this is the introductory one, so it's fairly straightforward. Um, at this stage, you can actually have a tutorial that keeps on popping up, but I've already done this a couple of times. So, I need to actually get people to the right places. So, here's our gunner, so I'm going to assign him to the, well, two of the cannons. Uh, I'm going to get my captain to the other cannons and because he's going to be good that means we're going to get good reload off both our mates and this is our navigator we'll keep him at mm, we could keep him at the wheel um here's our combat dude we're not going to get any combat anytime soon so i think i'll put him on the sail breaker cannon i think that's i'm not quite sure what it's called but we'll call it that uh, this weapon over here is a close quarters one so if we actually get a bit closer i'm going to try and get the ship a bit closer we can actually use this to hurt crew members but only if you're very close uh, there's also another side of weapons over here, but we're not facing that direction, so who cares? Right, so this is where the FDL type stuff comes in very heavily. We just need to wait for these to charge up. Uh, these are the cannons, which attack basically everything but the sails, I think. And this attacks just the sails. So they're, they're going to be doing the same to us. And you can hit, you can target very specific areas here. And you can also pause the combat pressing space, which I'm going to do now. Because I need to set up where we're going to aim at. So I'm going to choose uh, the cannon. I'm going to aim... I'm going to aim over there because they seem to be clustered over there. So right click, left click, right click. Uh, the sail breaker hasn't actually charged up yet. Oh my god! Right, so we did some damage. The sail breaker, I'm going to aim at the sails, inevitably. I'm going to try and get closer to the ship, but unfortunately they're also moving away from us. You can see by the arrows there. 
Right, so that didn't really do a huge amount. I need to keep the um, my navigator at the wheel if we're going to move up on them. We are actually getting closer, because they're not very fast, apparently. Um, also, whilst they're all at their correct stations, I'm going to press this button down here, which will save the position, so we can easily restore that position of crew members as and when. It'll also start any combat with them in that position. Right, let's have a go at the sails again. Let's try and get a bit closer. Then we can maybe use our special weapon over here. We are actually getting quite close, so... I'm going to move him over to the the close quarters guns. I'm probably um, overdoing this because um, it's such an easy one, this, but it does teach you how to do things if you've got the tutorial on. Here we go. See, th these are, will automatically target where I told them last. This one seems to be more manual, although I'm not charging it up at the moment, so who cares? Right, are we taking any water on? No, we're not, so we don't need to do any billowing. There's no repairs to be made. The sail is a little bit repairy. So, once he's taken a shot... This is going to be at people rather than... Oh, I might be able to get them all at once. Oh, look, that took a lot of health off. Right. So I'm going to take him over there to do a bit of repairs. Because at the moment, the sail is a bit buggered. Now it's being repaired. Oh, you can't really tell. I think it's... Yeah, yeah it's, it's now doing it. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's go back to there. We're almost done. I mean, their ship is like three quarters dead. Hang on. There we go charge up. We are getting quite, we are quite close now. And they, they're, they're trying to, still trying to get away, but they're slower than us. We've almost done this. There's no, have I actually killed one of them? Or is it just, they might just be overlapping. Oh no, there's three of them. There's, there's the, um, there's the, uh, that's the sailor. I think he can do good repairs. I don't have one of those. Let's tonk everyone at once. Tonk! Oh bloody hell, I almost killed them. They're, they're going to the medical centre, but they went over to the right hand side. Oh, I've destroyed them anyway. Uh, the medical centre is here, which if your mates are starting to get hurt, you can go and repair it. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> you can see the captain going down with the ship. I think it was the captain. You can do like, um, you can actually charge the ships and you can upgrade your ship to make your cannons more damaging and add various other weapons and stuff like that. We've earned 20 quid and everything is fine. We can just go back. Everything will repair itself between things. Our gate is opening and... Off we go to the next stage. Now, to start with, the game is very um, linear, but sooner or later, it will actually open up and there'll be a choice of places to visit. So it's a bit more kind of like unfocused, or a bit more sort of like a um, passageway than some of the other games like this to start with. It does open up, but it's very much about a story. Um, now we're actually going to get to choose who we're called. Let's call us um, One Faced Malcolm. In a sort of, oh, that's now you spell Malcolm even slightly. There we go. Uh, we'll leave those as it is. Uh, we can, you can edit any crew member you want and all. And uh, this is like a good streaming game. Still loved and oh, this is a dream. I'm still loved and always in his thoughts. You were the first, but he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalised, became a symbol icon, a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Right, um, a sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Right, so I'm back on deck, and we have to find... Well, we don't actually have to do anything. On this map, all we have to do is try and escape the gate, but we will have to do several combats, or random event-type things, depending on what we find, before we can actually unlock the gate. So let's just have a bit of a look. This explorer bit can be a bit kind of like an eventful, at <laughs> early on anyway. So, we can't get through there yet. Zero of four things complete. So let's just move ourselves around. We need, we just need to find some, uh, basically, combat opportunities or whatever. We've already found one. In fact, I could actually have a look up here. There. I'm still moving, actually. You can't actually um move. I think that, was, that might actually be a bug. But you can't, you're not supposed to be able to move on that view. Oh, here we go. There's, there's one right there. If we can just get it. Right. Your heart skips a beat as you no notice cult colours flying high on the horizon. Uh, you maintain course and speed. No reason to suspect you at this distance. Uh, and the ship has disappeared, so we don't have to do any combat there. And we've gained a key to get through there. Sometimes that's combat. Sometimes it's a choice. Um, there's various. It's, again, it's all that sort of like um, a roguelike type event type thing that we're all very familiar with from other games inspired by FDL. And FDL itself, I guess. Right, let's have a bit of a Peekaboo. Let's try and get some trove as well. Try and add to our 135 quids. 
And the only way to repair your hull, um, which is down here, uh, is to find a port and do other things there as well. We're not allowed to actually get involved in ports until I think it's the next map, where we'll also be able to hire new crew members and upgrade our ship. It's not like Sun in the Sea where you can keep on doing that and returning to, d to ports. Well, at least, I don't know, no, so far it isn't anyway. Oh, hang on, there's, there's a thing. The tension on the ship is palpable, as two cult ships have been spotted in a hunting pattern. What will you do? Our best, maybe only chance is to blitz the closest ship. I'm counting on you all. Or oh, flee! Let's, let's try and flee. Uh, you expertly feint and manoeuvre, preventing the vessels from lining up a proper broadside. They take desperate pot shots, but you escape. Ah! Last time I did that one, I had to do a bit of a fighty poos. I uh, got lucky this time. Uh, so far, some of the um, some of the sailing around bit does seem a bit ho hum, but um, we'll see that when we get to the next map, um, a sense of urgency will start to happen, where you'll realise that you you can't take all the time you need because they will. I mean, in, in FTL, there was a kind of like a thing that followed you. In this, it's a kind of um, a count up bar where you'll eventually be attacked by the kraken or something else. Anyway, we've got another choice. You are on a direct course um, to an approaching cult vessel, so we can either choose to fight or bugger off. Um, fighting will get us gold. Maybe. Uh, let's see if we can actually flee this one. Um, uh, the, <laughs> the shanty. Oh, here we go. The waves crash excitedly around the deck uh, as your ships cast the wind and we bugger off. The cultists make to follow, but it's a token effort. Ah, huh, I'm actually... Um, Uh-oh. Now, this is this happens when you get to three or four keys on this map. Um, it's, it's telling you... It's, it's basically a foreshadowing of what's to come. Look... Over to the left. We've been chased by the Kraken. Um, there's not much we can do. We're just going to have to leave this, let this happen. You can't avert your eyes as the royal closes the distance. The royal? The royal family? <laughs> uh, that's the ship term. And whatever it is, we'll be upon you in mere moments. Uh, so this will be our first taste of meeting the Kraken. You're not prepared to, fi um, to best such a beast. Fight it off and flee. Right, so you'll get a bit of tutorial for this if you need it. What I'm going to do, after pausing it... And because I know how this all works, I'm going to move some of my crew members around a little bit and wait for the tentacles. I'm going to leave my navigator there because what we need to do is slowly this bar will, f as long as I've got someone at the wheel, this bar will fill up. This is my manoeuvre bar. And once that's f fill up, I can choose to flee. And then that bar will fill up and then we can actually flee. But before that happens, we have to deal with this. Not much we can do yet. Bang! Right, now we can do something. It's actually tutorialising us, even though we don't... I've got tutorial switched off. So, I'm selecting tentacles to cut. And so long as I do three quick enough, the ship won't be harmed too much. So they're fighting off the tentacles. One, two, three. Easy. Right, now flee before it attacks again. It's telling me that a little bit early, because I'm still waiting for the bar to charge up. And this is why I, I think... I think having a navigator at the wheel does actually make the, the bar filling up thing a bit quicker. So it's always wise to have that, provided that you've actually chosen a navigator. You might want a captain at the wheel, because the captain's as good as the navigator in that respect. Bar still hasn't filled up, but it's okay, because all we have to do is just do the tentacle fighty thing again. You actually get to, apparently, I haven't actually got that far, you do actually get to fight the Kraken properly, once you've actually upgraded your ship. So, cut. Cut. There we go. Again, I think we only need three. Yep, we did that in time, that's fine. If you don't do it in time, it starts to damage your ship quite a bit. But I think as so long as you do it quick enough, with an attack three, you should be fine. Oh, I almost forgot to press the flea button. Okay, now we're um, filling up the flea, the actual flea button, but we're going to do one more encounter, I think, before that happens. Yeah, we can't flee at the moment because there's a bloody great fish under us. Fish! Do, 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 do. Right, pause. Hang on, I've selected him. Trying to get the exact right point is sometimes a little tricky. The music's getting very exciting. Right, almost done. Just gotta wait for that to fill up and we're gone. Don't have to do anything else now. I think we can just sit back and relax. Didn't take any damage on the ship, so we're all good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hurry up, lads! 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 There, press the loud pedal. Do the ships have loud pedals? Probably not. 
Defeat! You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. So, we've got three of four, and we've got to do one more. Uh, you have been watching a cult vessel in rapt concentration for a while now, as you subtly change course to put distance between you. You lower the spyglass and raise the rum glass. Your true identity has escaped their notice this time. Do you like the writing in this? It's, it's solid. It's good, solid writing in this. Uh, we can't risk them having spotted us. The risk is too great. Attack! Do not deviate from our bearing, but I want to be alerted for... Th this is basically um, uh, another opportunity to flee, or get some more cash if we really want it. I'm actually going to do it because I feel like we do need some more cash. I'm actually going to choose to do this. Right, so... Yeah, everyone's in the positions that I originally saved, so that's good. The ship is coming towards us, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move him again to there because we won't need to actually chase after the ship to try and actually get within range. I think I'll st stay where we are. We're gonna get, well, yeah, well, we'll let it get close. So everything's charging up nicely. We've got the right people at the right stations. Uh, let's see. We've got a we've got a, a a sailor, a navigator, and a that's the captain, isn't it? Let's just double check. Yeah, captain is the star. Navigator is the compass. Gunner is the three balls. Marine is the cutlass. We haven't actually used him at all yet for our uh, because you, yeah you do get one-on-one um, -on -one combat which we haven't seen yet, and we'll get see a lot of that in a bit actually. Right. Pause. Let's fire. Well, it's presumably where the cannons are. It's, it's kind of hard to see. It really needs a zoom mode, this. Um, just so you can actually see where the hell you're aiming at. Uh, I'm going to aim there, I think. Try and get the cannons and maybe get some splash damage on the mates as well. Yeah. Decent enough shot. We actually need to get closer. I think. Let's get closer. Oh, we are, my, um, my guy is automatically repairing what has been hit, so that's good. Now we can hopefully, maybe, just about reach their personnel. Although they're actually just trying to... Ah! Oh, damn it. They're actually moving away from us now. So, may actually have to go back onto the uh, the, sh uh, the sail breaker. All right, come on. Let's aim. For their bits. <laughs> so they're down to about two-thirds. That's whatever. We're still navigating towards them. Although my navigator... I mean, because they're moving away, nothing's really much happening. Okay, okay, they're repairing their station. Let's get their sails, lads. Let's try and slow them down. Their sails have gone... Oh, quite well. Unfortunately, they're repairing it. I could try and actually hit the person doing the repairing. Although I'm a bit too late now to change that. Yeah, they're busy repairing the sails. Damn it. By the time, they, by the time my thing's gone up, their, their sails will be fully repaired, which is a bit of a pain. Are we close enough yet? Hang on, let's... Let's see. Yeah, they're still moving away from us, annoyingly. I think by the time, to be honest, by the time we get to use this gun, and they, well, we'll have destroyed the ship anyway. Oh, no, hang on. Um, right. Let's use him to repair that. We are actually taking on a little bit of water, you can see in the bottom left, which I'll need to pump out, I think. That's basically repaired that. Let's... Let's man the pump, get rid of some of the water. You can see the water is now going down again. That'll do, get back to the cannon. we almost destroyed their ship. Oh, stop aiming for that bit, you pricks. Are we close enough yet? I wonder if I can actually get there. Let's try. Oh, we can. Let's try and get all of them at once. Although, to be honest, it's a bit pointless at this stage, but it'll, it'll be... Oh, dear, didn't do that. It'll be satisfying to tonk them a bit. Ah, did bugger all. <laughs> get back to the cannons, lad. It's actually my captain. It's actually me. Get their sails for no reason. So, by this stage, there's no real strategic advantage in doing anything other than just blasting with the cannons. Come on, lad. One more hit. And there they go. <laughs> Let's not stop moving towards them. <laughs> it's fine. It would have been fine. Um, we'd hardly took any damage at all. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Victory. We've got 20 quid. Again. That seems to be the going rate for winning. At least at the start. And we've got enough to get through the gate. Which is... Hang on, I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. That's fine. If I really wanted to investigate them and get more booty, I could, but... There might be a little bit there, but... Mm, might get, find the odd 20 quid here and there. 
let's move on because now we're going to in the next one we'll get to see the port now the danger has passed the crew bombard you with questions you feel responsible and share what little you know that creature the cult worship it it's part of what they call the great project you refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible for their sake and yours and off we go into the next area. The dull ache in your head recedes slightly, and you realise you can't remember a time without it. You feel more like yourself again, and wonder what it will take to banish the ache entirely. The chart you find in the captain's cabin show a nearby port. Land! Right, let's find the port. It's somewhere around here. But it would also be good to have a bit of a look around for when we actually have to start doing other stuff as well. Oh dear, this is... Um... <laughs> The land is getting a bit chunky around here. Uh, later on, the um, the landscapes will change. They'll get maybe colder or hotter or whatever. But for now, we're still pretty much in Green Hill Zone. Trying to find what we need to find. No ports yet. Um, uh, in, in previous games, they've always been well, kind of top middle. But in this case, it appears to be down here. Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. You suggest a farewell drink. The drink flows and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Another round. Shanties and ballads are butchered. Feet and occasionally bodies shake the tabletops. Just your typical evening in a dockside grog hole. Another round. A game of blades inevitably ends with blood drawn. Money changes hands, but one hand refuses to let go. And so the burly innkeep helps him, fast and airborne, out of the door. Hmm. From the round. Um, I don't know how much this actually affects anything. I don't think it does. <laughs> you desperately need to re relieve yourself. You s oh, here we go, having a piss. You stand up sharply and grab the table to stop yourself from falling. Laughter ensues. Yeah, maybe I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, there's piss trickling down my leg. Ew. Uh, I'm still dreaming dream about tentacles. It's a very specialist game now. You jolt awake, clammy, head pounding. The rum, surely. Yet, it feels more familiar than that, more insidious. Something within you cries out, and then you do, then so do you. An incohate inco scream. I've never seen that written down before. <laughs> your, your crew stirs from their beds just as the door flies off its hinges, two shadow forms crossing the threshold. Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are hap oh no, Halifron. A nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creatures. Superstitious folk tales made real. You've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. All right. I'll stop reading stuff out too much. Right. So we need to actually um, have a bit of a chat with our crew. Um, you plan to go on the offensive. Um, you cannot force them to join on what you may be a suicide mission, and despite their regret, they leave. So, nope. It is just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. All right, so this is the um, the first proper port thing. Uh, the tutorial um, will guide you through this, if you actually got that on. The thing is not to click return to port yet, because once you've done that, there's no going back. So you do need to pay attention to the stuff and do stuff. First time I played this, I didn't, and I was woefully unprepared. Right, so I've, got, I've only got 155 quid. That's not that much. In previous playthroughs, well, playthrough, sort of playthroughs, um, I uh, had about 200 by now. Um, but let's let's buy a mortar. Upgrade our cannon. I'm only going to upgrade one though because of I, I want to, I want more than I want more money. Um, repair all. I'll need to repair the ship. Uh, down to forty four. That's not much. Upgrading supplies. Well, I can't afford any of this. Um, I could get supplies, but I probably not need to bother. I could sell things, but. Not going to bother about that. Shipwright. This buys new ships. I don't think we really need to worry about any of this now. Um, we can, Obviously, when you've got more money, you can do this sort of thing. Get all sorts of things. A lifeboat is incredibly handy. But can't even afford that. So I think I can safely return to port now. Um, what we need now is we need to go to a, another pub. Um, and they've given me 80 quid, pretty much. You agree to meet back at the ship once you've checked for any potential recruits in the tavern. Right, so here we go. Now we get to choose new mates. Um, Gary? There's <laughs> Weller, Alexander, Eduard, and Gary. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Um, anyway, let's see you can change these names. Um, so what do I want? Do I want a gunner, marine, navigator, or sailor? We've currently got navigator, gunner, and marine. Um, so what we, I mean, theoretically, we could get a sailor, which would 
and make repairs better. Um, but I think what we should do is get another gunner. It's 100 quid, that's the most expensive one. Uh, which means um, the reload times will be rather splendid. Increase morale. Oh, let's do a little... Actually, I've never seen morale drop anyway. I don't think we've got far enough into the game for that. So we'll keep our 23. Oh, then mind you, I haven't got anything else to spend on for the time being. Increase morale to 60 from 50. Um, and that's it. You leave towards the docks, which are swarming with a growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying the cultist insignia are approaching. The curiosity and tension is palpable. Um, so basically we've got to bugger off. Unfortunately, there's a ship. Now, they're actually really buggering off. Um, substantially, they're really backing off. So, in fact, look, we've now got a new... No what we'll do, I'll move my captain to the mortar. There. Move him to there. Right, he's doing the guns. Oh, in fact, hang on. We'll move... Actually, they both are good, aren't they? So, it doesn't really matter too much. I was going to say, the guy who can gun better should have the three, but they're both as good as each other, so we'll leave that as it is. I think that's them all sorted. Oh, I think... <laughs> no, there we go. He's there, he's there. So let's save this for future use. Let's recharge everything. Now we've got a mortar, which we'll see is actually quite... Let's actually get moving. Which we'll see is actually quite handy for doing a big, fat, splashy damage type thing. In fact, that'll be the first thing that gets charged, I think. Can we actually reach them? We're not going to get much accuracy at this range, but... Oh, hang on. Let's let's bang their sails and all. So the mortar hasn't landed yet. Now it's landed. We've done some good damage. Oh, God. What have they sent to us? Um, doesn't look like we need to actually do anything. They'll do automatic repairs. Now we need to... Let's try and aim for just everything. There and there. We haven't, we haven't any need of that yet. Oh, he's doing, oh, he's doing more to it loading. That's fine. Is anyone injured? No, they're not. So we just need a bit of... Oh, mortar's ready. Right click. And see what that does. Oh, we can get the sails as well. Oh, <laughs> I paused it right in the middle of the mortar drop. Now, this shouldn't tax us too much. Again. Oh, no. One of the mates jumped in the water and coming, is swimming towards us. This is one of those heli... What the hell they're called? These hand-to-hand -hand fighters. We have a marine. The marine is going to have to do his business now, because that's going to happen. There he is. Right. So we no longer have anything on the sails, but that's okay, because I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the mortar is going again, so let's put that there. Right. Wait for him to jump on board. I'm going to attack him with my marine, who's good at fighting, and also my captain, who's also good at fighting. Oh, the third guy is getting stuck in. I'm going get, to get him out of the way. Oh, he's, he's, still being, he's still fighting. That's easy enough. I'm going to send my gunner over to get repaired. Oh, no! Get, he's exploded. Right, hang on. Um, the marine can go back there. The captain can go back there. That goo is harmful, so we don't want to be inside it. It'll dissipate. There we go. Right, so the gunner is repaired, so we can go back. And Oh, he's doing a bit of repairs as well as loading, so that's all good. Right, cannon. This is the sail buster. Still want to get a bit closer, ideally. Although it's not really that much of a, a thing at the moment. Oh, we've almost destroyed them. I mean, we're doing very well indeed. Let's mortar them. This this mortar might actually do the business. At oh, this range, there's, oh God, there's a, it's, they've got two navigators. It's a bit piss. Okay, one more hit should do the trick. Uh, I can just leave this going now. We are currently repairing the ship. That's fine. Everything's fully in the green. We've got no problem at all. We've destroyed them at range, and all is good. I'm going to hit this. No, I can't even. I can't hit their sails. Ah! Another successful thing. So at the moment, I'm early on in the game. It is sort of like um, the worry is that the combat might get a little repetitive. Um, but it does get as you go on, and you start adding more weapons, and they start being a bit more tougher. You do start to get different feel a different feel to the combat. But it may put people off a little bit. Well, I suppose he never really did that with FTL, but that felt a little more kind of, um, because of the, the ship layout stuff, that was a little more interesting. Anyway, let's just leave the combat. Uh, so that port is now, um, well, we can't go back. Anyway, yeah, now it's bringing in this new mechanism. As soon as this bar fills to the top, we will get attacked by something. 
Um, as it says here, it'll either be a cult ship, the Halifron, or the Kraken itself. So, now we have a time limit. It might be a movement thing. Like a turn, like a, the equivalent of a turn-based thing. Or it might be literal time. I don't actually know, I haven't actually checked that out. But it does give us a bit of extra, so like a, a push, not to dilly-dally. And also, it's about luck more than anything, about finding stuff that we need to find. Uh, the gate to escape in this one is to the east. But so far, I haven't actually found anything to do. Let's have a look at the map, because we may have actually unlocked stuff. Yeah, oh, we've only that bit up there at the top. And because they didn't appear originally, because we haven't gone to port. But there will be an encounter up there, and we need to do... Well, we don't actually know how many we need to do yet. Because we haven't actually been to the gate. So we could have a bit of a look-see. So a look... Four. Okay. That's fine. It's not always four. Uh, so nothing's happening so far, but at the bottom you can see the um, the bar is filling up. It's now two of what I guess is four. Not being very... Oh, hello. Encounter. A crewman calls you over the rail, having spotted something strange. Uh oh, it's Halifron. We're going to have to do a little bit of a different kind of fight this time. This is um, not ship to ship. This is ship to people boarding us. Oh, weird creatures. Right. So... Um, Where's our fight? Our marine is at the far side. Um, the marine and the captain are the best at fighting. It's really sometimes it's a bit tricky to see what's going on here. Uh, so, where's the, the select the captain? And we'll get them all stuck in. There's three of them. And now we need navigator. Go for that. All right. Hopefully they're red bar. Oh god, the captain's already hurting. Um, let's make sure that we. Sort that out first before anything else. The heartbeat of the captain is getting low, so let's um, do that. Is anyone else hurting? I think we're okay. I think we're actually going to defeat these two quickly. Now we can go for that one and defeat that. I think we're going to be okay because now we're all attacking the final one. Oh, piss. The marine needs to get out of there quick. Right. Move, move. I think we're good. Victory! You have managed to do that on this day. Phew! Right, the captain's repairing himself. Oh, it doesn't really matter now, because once we've finished, they'll all heal off camera. Which is all very nice. Right. So that was a bit of a trickier one, but we have actually got our one of four keys. So let's just find a couple more encounters. I know there's one at the top, but we may as well do a full sweep. We're not being very lucky finding things so far. Oh! Oh, some treasure! Trove, bounty, booty, loot. 21 quid! Oh, the gods are favouring us. Right. The uh, Yeah, let's just choose the escape one. Yeah, there we go. The ship recedes into the distance. Oh, look. Unfortunately, we spent so much time... Oh, God. Right. We're going to be followed by something. We'll use this opportunity to... Um, Scout out the landscape. Oh no, I think it might be the, might actually be the Kraken. We don't actually know it. Oh look! Booty! We'll get that in a bit. It is actually the Kraken again. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be much different to last time, but look, this time our ship isn't quite as healthy. There's really... And there's no point in really sort of like I'm sorting out the mortar at the moment, but apparently the mortar is helpful um, for fighting the Kraken, but I don't think we're... Still don't think we're actually capable of doing so. I'm going to actually give, give it a go, just for a laugh. Although there's nowhere to actually... Um, <laughs> there's really nowhere to actually do that for. Right, anyway. Let's... Hang on, let's um, do that one. We've actually got more crew now. So, hang on, I'm, I'm not even sure which one I'm doing now. Oh, there's a navigator as well. He can maybe help out as well. Oh, no, okay. Right. Oh, I shouldn't have brought the navigator in, because we're no longer fleeing, are we? Um, right, navigator, get back there, you daft sod. That was a mistake. There we go. Now the flee. Oh, the, the manoeuvre button is... Or the manoeuvre thing is filling up. So you really, really do need to keep the navigator at the, um, the wheel at all times on this. I'm going to see if we can actually do something with this. Well, oh, I know what, what I'll do is I'll wait. I'll wait for the attack. I'll um, make sure that everyone's... I think they always come in at the same place as well. 
Uh, there. Oh, no, no, you stay there. You stay there. Select. Right. Get back. Can I attack it? I don't think so. I think there's no head or anything to do it. So, unfortunately, we'll just have to do the fleeing thing. Go on, attack! There we go. No, it's... <laughs> I've already taken care of it. So, yeah, no point in using the mortar just yet. Flee. Almost forgot. So, this is going to be exactly the same as last time. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Now the... Yep, the button has stopped. And... Tonk! 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 No, leave him, leave him. There. Choppy, 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 chop! Yeah, I'm not taking any damage at all here. I mean, this early on, this stuff is just really just to, um... Give me the willies a bit. Once you actually know how to deal with it, it's fairly trivial. Off we go. Same as before. Oh, get the treasure. Another 21 quid. We've got up to 50. Wee, that'll buy us a new ship. Right, so we still need two more. Should be one at the top here, which we haven't done. There we go. Let's have a look in the, the main map. It's going to be somewhere in the middle, isn't it? Flee! Right, back down. I suppose I might as well just quickly check this. It's very unlikely, but... Nope. Maybe there might be some booty. No! Right, let's get to the middle. See what's what. There needs to be something in here. Otherwise we're a bit doomed. Our cult bar at the bottom is starting to fill up already. Uh, you get a telltale feeling, an ache in the back of your mind. You know what's coming. Halifron again. Use a mortar to... Oh, is it? Is a new choice. Use a mortar to land a charge in their path. Requires mortar. The Halifron are forced to zigzag to avoid the incoming mortar blast. Although none hit the infernal creatures, it slows them down enough for you to make good your escape. Huh. Good job you bought that mortar. I think it does so like I can guide you towards doing that in the, um, the tutorial. Anyway, let's get out of here. Through the gate. And finally, we do actually have a choice. I'm unexplored. Unexplored. We don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, but I think you can see how this is going, really. This is um, all rather lovely. You give up any hope of a quiet escape. Uh, fitful sleep, finally. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah, it's a dream. Deal with it. <laughs> a beacon appears in the hot, encroaching darkness before sinking beneath you and exploding in absolute illumination. The moor shrinks back with a roar. You sit bolt upright. Uh, if you can somehow hit the kraken underwater, it may emerge and become vulnerable. But how? Consulting your charts, you remember the isle where answers live. Um, presumably, answers live here. We make for the Isle of Landfall. It's where the Empire used to keep their artifices. Artifices? If anyone can help us fight the kraken, it's, that's where we'll find them. So, we've got to go to the Great Library. Okay, so we'll stop here. That seems like a good spot to actually finish here. And we've got ourselves a little journal if we want to have a look at it. And we have to get to there. So we have to chart our way across here through various maps until eventually we get there. Um, I wonder if we can go backwards. Oh, maybe, maybe. Unfortunately, I'll have to unlock gates first. Um, anyway, let's get back. Um, how do you do that? Close journal, that's right. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, do check this out. It should be out on Steam now. I think it's on the 21st of February for Windows. Um, and, yep, do subscribe to be notified when the next videos of mine go live about all the latest and best new indie games. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yarr!